I don't care how you lay it, how you say it. But if you ate any of these things on these lists, you came from the struggle and your mama used to make you sit at the kitchen table until all the food was done. Chitlins? If you eat chitlins when you were little, you came from the struggle, struggle. Whole house, my life, poo. They always make this on every holiday, especially New Year's. And I don't care how you lay it, how you said, how much hot sauce, how much seasoning you put in it. It's still going to stink. I don't know if it's good because I ain't never really tried it, but it stink. My stomach was too weak to even eat this. I don't see how y'all eat this. Eh. Number two, I got pig feet. Some people from the South might be mad at me, but you grew up eating pig feet. You nasty. You disgusting. Um, I don't care how much hot sauce you put on this. I don't care how many times you uh, suck on these. And if you eat eat this, uh, you suck toes now. I mean, <laughs> I don't eat it, but I do suck toes. So I don't know what that means for me. But, um, you know, all I'm saying is <clears throat> pig feet is disgusting. <laughs> So disgusting. <laughs> I don't care how you lay it, how you say it. <laughs> I don't give a crip crap or a crunch. <laughs> this is dead. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> disgusting. Now, at number three, like I said, if you eat any of these tuna, chitlins, pig feet in 2023, <laughs> first of all, you struggle back in the days. So that's the reason why you got used to the taste. Tuna ain't never been good and ain't never smelled good. I don't care how you lay it, how you say it, but some of y'all people just been eating for so long, so the taste just basically, like, been a part of you, especially them chitlins and them pig feet. I don't care how you lay it, how you say it. <laughs> you might call me a picky eater or you won't, but you might feel like I'm stretching it a little too far, but it's the truth. Boy, your breath stank bad. <laughs> You eat these either in the jailhouse or you've been in the pill or you've been in the struggle if you eat sardines on anything at any day and time. That's all I'm saying. You truly down bad, hilarious if you eat oysters in a can. Your breath stank and you just don't care. At this point, you're about 200 pounds. you overweight. Who eat oysters in a can, especially in this day and time? That's all I'm saying. Last but not least, spam. <laughs> What makes you want to eat a Spam sandwich when you have a good Subway sandwich? I mean, that's all I'm saying. Who eats Spam? I mean, come on. Look at the name. Spam? You knew you grew up in the 1970s or the 60s if you ate this. That's all I'm saying. Who lying? Comment below if you know anything worse or disgusting. Or if you feel like I'm tripping on these. Peace.